poultry family, which includes chickens, turkeys and geese, is so much more than just a source of food. These feathery farm animals are socially intricate and full of surprises. Oh my god, has it got fluffy tootsies? Feathered. Holy shit cakes! I need a banana for scale. I need something for scale. Someone run in there and put a Mars bar next to it. So yeah, anyway, uh, chickens. They are mini dinosaurs. Like, I mean, people always say birds are dinosaurs and technically that is not true, right? But they are descended from what we would consider dinosaurs. And in fact, a while back, some scientists actually found a bit of sort of like uh, biological material inside a T-Rex bone. And when they extracted some amino acids and all of that and compared it to the equivalent amino acids in like 21 species of modern animals, it was chooks and ostriches, which were the closest to T-Rexes. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Oh, he's gonna pick up the Oh, no! <laughs> oh, okay, mate, just walk away. Just walk away, mate. Be the bigger man. Don't let the geese get one up on you. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> he's encountered maybe a Canadian goose? who have a reputation for being jerks, right? Um, and where he's gone wrong, I think, is by not exiting as quickly as he should. He's, he's, he's decided to fight back. Why is it that geese are dicks? They're way more territorial, defensive, uh, you know, I hesitate to say aggressive because there's normally a reason behind this sort of behaviour. And in this particular case, Halfway through him trying to hit a moving object with a rolled up bit of newspaper is another little goose behind. So he just thinks that he is being singled out by this goose as a point of hatred, but actually the goose is probably defending its mate or goslings that we can't see. <laughs> what weirdos. They are so weird. I think what's happening here is some sort of seance to try and bring that roadkill back to life. No, that is obviously not what's happening. What's probably happening is the turkeys are looking at that roadkill, right? And every animal on earth has what we call a flight distance. And this is how comfortable they are to a stimulus that they think is scary. So I think what's happening here is the turkeys are curious about the roadkill, but their flight distance doesn't allow them to get closer to actually have a look. So what they do is start moving around, taking in the information. And because they're a flocking animal, they all start moving around and taking in the information. And then at some point they've probably forgotten about the roadkill and now they're all just walking around in a circle because they're turkeys. <laughs> and they just like going around in circles. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Christmas is coming. So I think that this is sometimes called a shock gobble, which is an excellent band name. So what they're doing is responding to a loud sound and for a male turkey, that is instinctual and guttural and they would do it without even realising that they're going to do it. That's how quick it is. It's instantaneous reaction to a loud sound. And the idea would be that you, if you heard a gobble, that you would gobble louder because you're a better potential mate. <laughs> so the idea is, is that one turkey is like, I'm sexy, come and get me. And the other one is like, I'm sexier, come and get me. And then the next one is like, I'm <laughs> You get the point. Whoa, 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 whoa. Number one, did that chook just try to escape that hawk by running into a wall? Number two, you see what that rooster did? He came out to protect his hen. And this is like really typical behavior for a rooster. They will have a like harem of females and they will defend them to the death. This is one of the, I suppose, parts of the relationship agreement 
it's sort of like polyamorous, you know, he's got lots of female partners but he agrees that he will protect all of them to the death so they put up with him. So if you can put up with waking up before dawn every single day of your life, they're actually a really good strategy for protecting your hens. Chickens, turkeys and geese all have really cool social structures, a complex communication Hello. <laughs> and some pretty fascinating survival instincts. And sure, they can be a little temperamental at times, but you can't deny that these tiny little T-Rexes are a wonder of evolution.